Welcome back everybody. Today I'm looking at Starmade Dev Build. This is Alpha 0.1643. Um, I've got a couple of things to show which are pretty interesting. The first is copy paste templates. Okay, now we're going to just show you quickly how to do that. Okay, and then we've got server list, which is what we're showing you first. And finally, Plex storage filtering, which is a big, big deal um, for anyone running industry first thing I want to draw your attention to is this launcher now as you can see it has updated I don't know if you've noticed the little button little button here now this button is for the server list so when you click on the server list button what you're gonna get is this if I click on uh, refresh it says show only compatible so it's only going to be servers that are compatible with this current build if I take that off Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like there's a new dev build that I haven't got. But the point is, um, this is only looking at dev builds right now because we're on the dev release. But as soon as this is released, all the servers will have a listing from the game launcher. And I can't wait because I think that's awesome. So as you can see, it'll show you things like ping. It'll show you the version, the number of players and the cap. You can also click on it and then click connect. So it makes it really easy for you to find servers. So uh, going back to the launcher, you might be asking me now, well, how do I set my server up to appear in, appear in the list? It's a server.cfg option. If I just take this, and make it larger if we now have a look at this as you can see announce server to server list default is false change that to true host name to announce so this is the bit where you put you know for us it'd be play.mushroomfleet.co.uk i'm just going to double check if you actually need to put the port name in doesn't say you do so yeah just just the uh just the ip and then server list name the name that you want to appear in the list and then the description so no name no description means it just won't have anything i guess so fill something in there 64 characters 128 characters that's super easy and it's going to make a massive massive uh difference to finding your uh, multiplayer servers and seeing who's online and so on so that's going to be awesome can't wait for that to come through so copy pasta and we'll just put something together on the roof let's say i've made this totally awesome chair so i've got an awesome chair here right i'm gonna build it I'm gonna build this awesome chair it's gonna be unique no one's seen anything like it. no i'm only joking guys it's just a chair sacrilege how could it be just a chair anyway what we're gonna do is build this build the chair so i was onto something there oh yeah put that there that was just there so there we go, bear with me while I just build this chair. Okay, so I've got this chair and I want this chair to be in every single ship, like every ship. We can't rotate things yet. What I'm gonna actually do is click copy and it's showing me a one by one by one area right now. It's three high, three wide and three long. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I've got to find out where the best place to click is now what I like to do to make my life easier put something something up in the air where I want to copy from like that and now I've copied it now you all know if you click paste at this point you can paste there we go so there's my chair and then to, just to clean it up I can take the block out done awesome so that's copy paste you know how to do that the difference is that when you're uh, not in paste mode you'd actually click save and then I'll type awesome chair forward forward well because you know it's like because the you can't rotate them yet you could call it whatever you want okay so now that's saved um, I could now jump out of this ship um, hit X if I go into this core and just give myself a little base here and then I'm gonna go to load and we've got a new menu for loading templates so it all looks like I got a table and a chair already so I'm gonna say I'm gonna load the table and chair and then go paste now the trick is where do you click it 
Oh, there we go. And look at that. I've got my table and chair, right? So now, say if I want to... Oh, balls. I've just started painting chairs. Remember to take paste mode off. <laughs> Although that is a way of painting complex shapes. So you could make a complex shape and then paint with it instead of making blocks. So that's useful. So if I click paste again, but this time I'm going to load the one from before. Okay. Click paste mode. And paste. Take out my copy block. And look at that. I'm well on my way to making my fighter, for example. Got a nav chair. It's all good. You might be wondering what happens if I copy a core. Well, that's what happens if you copy a core. You see the empty space? Just there. That that used to be a core. Whoops. Forgot to take it off paste mode again, guys. Undo is your friend. You can also change the number of undos you have in the config. So anyway, um, that's pretty much the uh, copy-paste feature. I will be doing some tutorials on it soon. And just so you know, you can move your entire ship. If you change your build mode to the size of your ship, the limit, you can actually move your ship about by removing the whole thing and putting it on another core. And you can obviously place it, but you can only move the core forward, backwards, up, down, left, right. You can't rotate, but it is possible. So yeah, there'll be some videos on that too. So basically, um, that concludes the uh, copy pasta templates. So now I'm going to get on to the next part, which is going to be fun, because this bit is completely unrelated. So then, I have a Plex storage here, and I have a Plex storage here. I also have a Plex storage here. Now I want Plex storage here to have purple rods in it, and I want the blue stuff. I have blue, per blue rods in it. This one will only have green, okay? But I'm going to put all my resources in here, okay? So I'm just going to put everything in there, and it's going to know. All right, so I'm not going to set a filter for that. So anyway, what you need to do is say I want this one. So here we go. Press C and V. I think that's correct, yeah. And we'll forget this. We're going to make it nice and easy, all right? Forget this. We're just going to literally put purple rods in this one. Okay? All right. Keep it simple, guys. <laughs> So we've got, we want the purple rods to go in here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say push R. All right. There's active, inactive. All right. So every tick is going to draw an item of the filter from what it's connected to. So if I go ahead and put all my purple rods in here, and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go filter, add. And I'm going to type in purple rod, purple rod light, say OK. Count, I want to take 10 per tick, OK? So we'll say all right. And as you can see, every tick, we're getting 12 purple rods. All right. Now, obviously, this will work with the factory system. So what you can do is have your Plex storages in between your uh, factories with the filters set to what you want in the line so that you can have stuff switching through. Uh, this will, of course, be activated with logic. So as you can see, it's got a button here. Turn it off. It doesn't do anything. OK. Turn it on. And off it goes, drawing through the items. All right. Now, you can have multiple filters. So I could actually go through here and say, I'll turn it off for a second. You don't have to, I just will. I'm going to change to green rod, green rod light. There it is. Open it up. 10. Say OK. And then what I'll do is I will put the green rods in here as well. OK. So simple as it is, 
I've got all my green rods being pulled into this storage now. I want to turn it on. Okay. And so, when you think about it, you activate a logic system with a proper setup. You could have one production line producing everything in the game. All you have to have is the logic system to turn on and off the correct filters and they would act like valves for your materials which could be auto sorted using these plex storages as well so you know um so yeah you can have um if i go c v you can you can link them that way but interestingly i can link it back now i don't know if this is going to stay behaving like this there could be limitations like with logic in place, I don't know, but at the moment it seems to work. So if I push C on that one, they're still linked up. So I could then, for example, put a filter on here. He 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 for purple rods. Only this one will get 20 back. Okay. And so what should happen what should happen is that this one will end up with all the green rods but eventually it'll start putting the blue the purple rods back into the, into here and at, 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 at that rate yeah and like I say if you're into your factories this is going to be a massive leap forward in terms of the design and what you can do with your factory so I'm just gonna see if this is working I haven't actually tried this out yet guys so don't shoot me <laughs> so okay currently is active cycle it active inactive yep it's already done scheme has already made it logicable so you can have a switch for each of these filters you know this is like the uh, you've, you've seen it in other games you've seen it in other mods but this has got a little bit more flexibility. I don't think there's actually a limit to how many filters you can have. Um, but there is a limit to how much room there is on the screen. So, you know, uh, think about that when you're making your links. I did notice one behavior before. I just want to test if this is still the case. So if I have two. If I go like C, V. And then get this one. Yeah, that's it. So they're all linked up. So I've gotten the first one hooked it up to two. So this will draw from both of these. Okay. So then I'm going to uh, hit the end one and tell it to draw from both of these, which means we've got this. So that's linked. That's linked. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, it's um, yeah. So you can't at the moment limitation seems to be that you can't link to the same box twice okay you can't link to the same plex storage twice so if I just show you that one again although you can make loops and you can go you can go out multiple times they only come in once okay so if I'm if I'm drawing items into the plex storage with the blue rod on, on top from both of these all right if I then decide that I want to draw items into the end from both, when I attach the middle one, because it's got two links coming in from either end, it only remembers the last one you make. But that, I think that's the same behavior in Logic. So that may change, but at the moment that's the only limitation I can find. So yeah, just to go through that again, go up to your Plex storage, push R, hit filter, and then add type in the name of the filter you could have typed blue hull blue hull and then you could have said you know 300 and when you get 300 blue hull it's going to draw so this block this will now look for 300 blue hull every tick from wherever i connect it to so if there was 300 blue hull in here it's going to pull through every tick okay so there you go um, but it's going to make factory so much more awesome so that's pretty much everything i had to show you on the uh, dev build today so uh thanks for watching everybody and i'll see you all next time